Allen's was a patient. Ah, Jake's it is. No, you're not getting out of this. He wants us to wait. Dr. Gail Murphy, call three. I remember being that age. History was my worst subject. Even then, I was more interested in living things rather than dissecting the lives of people from the past. And this one year, I had a terrible semester. My parents said if I didn't pass my test, they would ground me. So I took the test on Friday. I had to wait till Monday, and it was this beautiful weekend. And I was so nervous that I locked myself in my room. I didn't hang out with my friends at all. What did you get on the test? I failed it. This could be the grounding of a lifetime. The results of this test. I just want one last long weekend before I do this again. Whatever happens, I'm with you all the way. You don't have to feel sorry for me. What if I just love you? Look, I know you just want to snap your fingers and be back in a happy marriage with Elizabeth, but you have to be patient. Yeah, well, do I have to be? Yes. You're doing great, Lucky. You're clean. You're back on the force. Just let things settle in. Show Elizabeth that you're capable of handling anything that life throws at you, including a little resistance from her. Well, I don't know if I can handle that. What is that? Are you thinking about taking pills again? There isn't a single day that doesn't go by that I'm not tempted. You know, I mean, when I'm disappointed, tired or bored, you name it. But the important thing is that you're not, right? Cruz and I, we made a drug list not long ago. This drug dealer had pills all across the coffee table. I saw a bottle of hydrocodone. Even though I knew it was risky, I swiped it. Oh, lucky, why? Just to prove that I could resist. I carried that bottle of pills in my pocket every single day, and then I threw it away. I never took a single pill. Wow. Talk about pushing the envelope. Because you're the only person I've told. <laughs> Good, because I may be the only person who believes that you didn't take a pill. I think I swear. I know. I know. I was there when Mom told you how proud she was of you for getting past your addiction. That meant a lot to you. She has faith in you. I know you won't let her down. I did it for Elizabeth, too, and for our baby. I just I wouldn't risk a future with my Elizabeth and our baby as a family. I know, but there's no guarantees in life. Lucky you know that. Elizabeth is good for me. She completes me. <sighs> Look, you have a lot of people on your side. Me, Lulu, Emily, all your friends on the force. But if Elizabeth decides to go off on her own, you're still the father of those children. I just want us to be a family. I know. I don't want to be a single dad. I know. I'm just telling you that you'll be okay either way. Elizabeth and my baby are the reason for everything I do. Be honest. Hypothetically, who do you think is better for Jason, Sam or me? <gasps> Sam made a terrible mistake when she slept with Rick, obviously, but Jason forgave her and they moved past it. I don't know, Elizabeth. I mean, I'll admit things would be very different if it had turned out that Jason was the father of your baby. You mean even if he didn't love me, he would still love this baby? Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that Jason would have loved the baby and you and Cam. He would have committed himself completely if you'd let him. I mean, Jason is not a person who would desert someone or, or break a promise. But he's made promises to Sam. Okay. Your turn to be honest. You and Jason came close to being together before he ever met Sam, right? But you realized that you didn't fit into each other's lives. So what about now? Well, the first time I was with Xander, Jason saw us and he pulled back, which was understandable. But Xander and I, we, we were never anything more than just friends. So Jason and I started to get close again and things from me business related and I resented it and so we kind of fell apart and then Courtney came into the picture and I got closer to Rick and life just pulled us in different directions. Wow, you've thought a lot about this. Because Jason and I keep finding our way back back to this friendship if nothing else. 
Do you want it to be more? Can we keep this between us? Of course. I've imagined what it would be like if Jason and I were together. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. It's okay. I've just got I've got a lot to work through. I understand. This is me, your your best friend, telling you that I will support whatever you decide. Well, thanks, but there's no perfect answer. Because no matter what I do decide, somebody's going to get hurt. I also have some valuables I prefer not to leave in my room. Oh, that won't be a problem. We have a vault here at the hotel. Oh, well, forgive my hesitation, but I had something stolen last year from a supposedly secure hotel vault. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. And I can't risk another mishap. Would it be possible for me to visit the vault before surrendering my property? Jason, the worst part is that Sonny tricked me into moving the boys back into his house. Alcazar is mixed up with some dangerous people, so that threat is real. His house is more secure right now. But he used it to manipulate me. When I asked him to respect my relationship with Jax, he flat out told me he was going to be hitting on me. Isn't that kind of beside the point if you're getting a divorce? The point is I don't want my boys okay. living in that house right okay. now. Hey, just calm down, please. Okay, just, you know what? Leave Michael and Morgan out of this. I'm going to take you to the Dominican Republic. We'll come right back before Sonny even, even has a chance to argue with you. He's already started. W what do you mean? Oh, come He's on, you know, Sonny. He's turning on the charm. He's gazing at me with those big brown eyes. Telling me that I need to give this marriage a chance. Trying to rationalize the lie. The, you, you told him you knew the truth? Yes, I told him I knew the truth. Why wouldn't I tell him? I'm really sorry, Mrs. C, but uh, Mr. C wouldn't give me your passport. What? He's trying to stop me from leaving the country to get a divorce, Jason. I wouldn't know. I want you to tell Sonny okay. that he's not going to stop that's me. Enough. tricks Call aren't going to work. That's enough. Thank you, Milo. Thank you. You know what? He can't stop me. I want to get a fake passport. No problem. It's Carly. Look, I need a fake passport as soon as possible to get out of the country. Sonny told you that you can't get me a fake passport. Sonny can't do that. He just said, okay, okay, just, 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 just please, Bernie, I'm sorry. This is a long story, but Sonny lied to Carly. She didn't need to marry him. Um, but you know what? I, I'm going to take care of it, okay? I'm sorry about this. Sorry doesn't cut it. Sonny is going to pay for this, big time. To clean your bathroom, you need different cleaners for the floor, the shower, the tub, the counter, and behind the toilet.